Good afternoon, this is Stephen sitting in his bedroom. Uh, let's quickly dip into my world so you know what to look out for in yours. Okay, first things first, uh, on Now TV, there is a Showtime documentary called The Truth versus Alex Jones. That is a watch. It really is, and it's a warning to any would-be podcasters to get your facts straight before you uh, go online and basically talk about things that simply are not true. Um, Alex Jones, I'm sure you know of the name, has reported on his InfoWars site uh, a few misleading uh, allegations I'm not even going to mention them uh, and it's got him into court and it's going to cost him billions of pounds I believe uh, in fact there is now talk of how does Alex Jones pay these penalties they're simply too too staggering and he just simply hasn't got the money uh, so it'll be interesting to see how this plays out because the way it looks, they're not going to get any money off him anyway. The, the, the costs are just too high. Then um, on the Terence Howard Joe Rogan interview, uh, now looking at 10 million views, it looks like Terence Howard um is not so is is over enthusiastic in some of his assumptions and the scientific community are now looking into the stuff he said on that show uh i couldn't really follow it to be quite honest with you i give it a good well i gave it the distance but i still couldn't figure out everything he was trying to explain but he certainly seemed confident and he certainly seemed to know what he was talking about with his own regards to, um, for instance, mathematics. He believes mathematics are wrong. Uh, uh, one times one is two. That's what he's trying to say. And we're all taught one times one is one. I'm still trying to figure it out now. So one times one is one, but there's two ones in the equation. So that's where he must get his thoughts from. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, moving on from there. Uh, I've had the brace fitted, by the way. I don't know if you can see that. Um, GameStop. Let's revisit this little shenanigan from two weeks ago GameStop shares are now at $25 I was so lucky I managed to sell at $31.93 which meant I profited about £30 and what I've done is bought shares in a pharmaceutical company and the shares are, I think they're $1.26 at the moment. And they are looking at going up to $4. Uh, and I've, I've done all right. I've managed to uh, buy 544 So you're looking at a good profit there. If it happens, if they go to $4, there are... 17 analysts saying this stock will go up and uh, I thought well I'll just bite the bullet just see what happens and also uh, Bitcoin has dipped below 50,000 I've always said if you're going to buy Bitcoin buy it below 50,000 below 50,000 is cheap uh, above 50,000, really the only people that can afford it are banks and um, big companies that are propping something up. Um, so let them do the heavy lifting for you. Buy it below 50, hold on to it and let some of these bigger firms buy it and increase your portfolio. Uh, also, altcoins, they've dipped as well. 
they have gone right down my favorite altcoin is blur i've picked myself up a lot of blur i think i started buying the dip at 30 pence and it is now 16 pence um and of course when the dips are so small you have got very little to lose uh, and of course all coins bitcoins and even shares tend to go up uh, around november time uh it's a big push towards the black friday you'll find everyone buys crypto and altcoins to increase their spending power for the black friday deals so try and buy now and hold and then sell on uh, the black friday weekend that's my that's my tip for the top okay have you seen the ah oh, bit my fucking tongue man ah ah have you seen the um what's it called oh my tongue's throbbing have you seen the um debate what did you think of the debate i thought um sunak gave keir starmer uh, a run for his money he was definitely the most confident out of the two uh, and keir starmer needs to up his game and be a bit more uh, interrupting rather than pa he's too passive basically ah this is going to be a nightmare uh and uh it looks like richie sunak will do a bit of a number on him i think to be quite honest um uh in birmingham we have nigel farage at the nec five pound a ticket i have been thinking about it uh but I mean, it, it's a fundraising event, clearly, but he, I don't know. It's, this election is a really important one because it deals with immigration and immigration is at the front and foremost of 95% uh, of the population's mind. They want, um, they want control. And I don't blame them. I was having a conversation with someone the other day and I said, you know, it strikes me as really strange how we've got the technology to look at the moon and see the craters. We've got the technology to look at satellites and send them into space. We can spy on people at night in, in wars and stuff like that. But we can't find 800 people on a tiny boat at sea. It's like, it's mad. It's mad, man. Ah! <laughs> anyway, moving on from there, uh, what have we got apart from a swollen tongue? Um, that's about it. It's just a, a cheeky little catch up with you. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, we should be able to start interviewing soon, providing I haven't bit my tongue off. I've been speaking to a gentleman friend of mine who has volunteered to be my first interviewee. So good stuff there. Um, uh, and so hopefully next time we see you, we can have a bit of a chat with this good friend of mine and put the world to right, so to speak. All right. You take care, everyone. Bye bye now. Bye bye. I forgot to mention my fridge is broke and I have spent uh, a good 20 minutes on the internet trying to find ways of fixing the fridge. It always fucking goes in the summer. It's a nightmare. Uh, and the only thing keeping me going is replaying the hot two lady. She is an absolute diamond. And I think the secret to her success is she has given men a signal that you don't have to be afraid anymore to approach a lady uh, and ask her if she wants a drink or ask her if she wants a dance uh, or ask her if she wants to spit on it. It really is time to get out there and start, um, what's the word, uh, 
multiplying. All right, you take care. Thank you, hug two, lady. Hug two.